Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Teenager, and I am playing some Zeno Saga Episode Three. So we gotta go see Cosmos. I just don't actually know how to get there. Um, it might be over here. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I had to back out all the way to the city for a save point. Exercise area will be blah 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 blah. Mega Shut up, lady. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. Uh, demonstration site station. No. There's a fucking save point right. <laughs> of course there was. I were, I backtracked all the way to the city. I mean, it's been a couple of days since I've recorded, but a couple days ago, yeah, I backtracked all the way to the city. To save, because I didn't know that there was a save point over there. The exercise area will be temporarily closed. Prepare for the of Omega Rest Goliath. I heard you're the All first ten times, lady. Where is my girl? I need my grill. Well, it must be Wait. this way. This is a VX seven thousand. That's oh, that's from uh from uh, the first Zeno Saga game. That's the Ames uh or eggs unit that Junior had. I think. It's because of the Gnosis terrorism. Since we don't know when or where they'll attack, the top brass is leaving nothing to chance. I mean, I valid. See. Vector's participating too, so I guess it's only natural. Hmm. T. Does it bring back memories? A little. Well, yeah. Because it's the same kind that Junior had in first game. At least I think it was Junior. All phases of the performance I'm trying to drink tea over. and play this game. I'm currently playing one-handed. Don't make a joke about that. All phases of the performance program are do, now do. Supervisors for each So, are I'll get why forcing you to run all the way to Cosmos here is actually low-key brilliant. All phases of the performance program are now um, Supervisors for each weapon are but, requested in the conference. I'll let I'll let you guys know why it's almost low key brilliant and and not that long from now. Now you'll be in Vector's laboratory. In the Going down to the lab, yes. So there's another save point that I could have used. Less <laughs> I. Maintenance. Still trying to do this one-handed. Again, don't make a joke about that. Mm. Chief! Hi, Togashi. I should actually just drink this with my other hand so I can use the controller Welcome more effectively. Back, I'm just left-handed, so I'm used to doing it this way. <gasps> I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. It's fine. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. Damn straight, Togashi. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. <laughs> They're too used to it. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear Chief. Aww, isn't that right, sweet? Chief Ridgely? Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Aww, that's sweet. <laughs> Where's Cosmos? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. Sure. They're sure she is. Cosmos, you're still doing your best. But what am I doing? What would you think of me if you saw me now? She wouldn't care. <laughs> Chief. Mm -hmm. I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, it's not that. I... <laughs> after seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. Yeah, well, who's dead? fault is that, Shion? <laughs> You're the one who quit! <laughs> Chief. You only have yourself to blame there, Shion. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. Also, I love how this is supposed to be her outfit going into a professional area. And her shorts are unzipped and they are, will be unzipped for the entire game and once you notice that, you can't unsee that. <laughs> Oh, Japanese and the way that they dress women in Chief, video games. Um, tomorrow. <laughs> hmm? 
Tomorrow, uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? Aww. I found this great restaurant the other day and... Sure, sounds good. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy. <laughs> Alan! <laughs> Maybe next time. Again, he is way too good for her. I said sure. Huh? What? R really? <laughs> He yeah. was expecting her to time? say I'm no. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. This is gonna end well. I'll come get you. Nothing is gonna go wrong. <laughs> Nothing okay. could possibly go wrong. Thank you. See you then. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Doesn't need an escort out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She doesn't work there anymore. Of course she would need an escort out of the fucking building. Excuse me. Fuck you, Roth. <sighs> Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? Yes. It's smaller scale than I expected. Fuck off. Special advisor Roth Mantel? Why are you here? Did you come to Oh whoops, I didn't mean to skip Calm that. Down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. See, reasons why Roth Mantel is an asshole. Excuse me? I mean, I came here to finish off the losers. Rude. I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute. What about Cosmos's repairs? There's no need. Cosmos will never awaken again. Yeah, they're gonna throw Cosmos into a trash heap. Literally. What are you talking? This will explain it. Again, he's such an asshole. What? He's even more of an asshole later when I finally get to regurgitate all the crap that's the hidden crap that they haven't revealed yet. <laughs> decision to dispose of Cosmos. Yup, and of course it happens right after Shion leaves. Cause she's what not the there to hear this? it. It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. No, she ain't. <laughs> can't believe it. How could they scrap Cosmos? Because they're assholes, that's why, obviously. <laughs> yep, and literally, the moment I left there. Let's see, I suppose I'll return to the hotel for now. See, I'm kind of shocked, I'm kind of surprised that Alan does not immediately video call Shion. Because he has to know that she's still in the building. <laughs> All phases of the performance program uh, are now over. And honestly, that would, should be the first person that he contacts. Like, literally immediately. Roth leaves the room, immediately calls Shion and get her before she leaves the building. But that's what uh, logic would dictate, I guess. Especially because he's obviously now going to have to cancel their date. <laughs> Because nothing could ever go right with for uh, for poor Alan. Nothing ever. Nothing will ever go right. Everything will end poorly for that poor man. Even though he deserves so much better, because he's freaking adorable. Hmm. Go to room whatever the fuck. Do 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 do. So, this is the footage from the T-Weapon demonstration? <laughs> oh, Shion, you freaking spy. You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Mm -mm. Stop joking and take a look at it. Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T-Weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. 
I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. <laughs> oh, she so on it. Vector is involved in this as well. Obviously. But they canceled Cosmos's development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True. But the way Telos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Especially because he looks exactly like Xion with a color swap. <laughs> I mean, looks exactly like Cosmos with a color swap. <laughs> Alright, leave it to us. Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Uh-oh. Is it information about my father? No, we haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Kanan. Uh-oh! Kanan? You mean that Kanan? No, not the Realian. Are you sure? It's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Are you sure, Doctus? Are you sure? <laughs> Kanan. We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Kanan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find <laughs> out some more about it? We can, but it'll cost extra. Damn it, Doctus. What? You're going to charge for it? Especially with all the data I just gave you illegally recording government tests. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It may have something to do with that realian, so it's on the house. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Doctus. <gasps> Nephilim! Nephilim? What is it? You're just gonna ask what is it? You're not gonna ask what the hell are you doing in my apartment in the real world? <laughs> Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. I... What? Grimoire only wanted to find me, but that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding, but it didn't. Again, things that are not adequately explained. Somebody did mention in the comments of one of my other videos that yes, there is a... um. Japan only a um, couple like episodes of a show called The Missing Year that explains everything that happened between Xenosaga or explains a lot of what happened between Xenosaga 2 and 3. However, that is not in the games. Most especially because it was Japan only, most people outside of the um outside of Japan would not have seen those. It's still poorly explained in this game what the hell happened between 2 and 3. <laughs> Shion the Gnosis phenomenon happening now is not caused by Lemigeton. Lemigeton is the thing that was used by this guy named Grimoire to cause um, Gnosis to start literally terrorizing planets even more so. That's literally the gist of what happened between 2 and 3. And he was doing that so he could find this little girl named Nephilim, who we're talking to. Okay. <laughs> A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. <gasps> Uh-oh. Destroy the universe? Who would do that? A sad individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. Way to be cryptic, Nephilim! <laughs> he hopes for happiness of the one important to him, but that will bring suffering to many. Atonement? Important to him? Yes, for that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Xion, the only one who knows where we are headed, is Cosmos. Aight, and she's gonna get scrapped! <laughs> the only one who can open Cosmos's heart is you. So please. Wait. <laughs> Damn it, Nephilim! <laughs> Nephilim. Literally like one of the most cryptic characters in this series. <laughs> Cosmos's heart. But she's an but she's a robot. She don't got no heart. <laughs> she's just machinery. <laughs> and now Nephilim is hanging out with chaos on top of a building in a random place. To tell her. I know. The truth is too hard for Shion right now. If she let it pass without knowing, it would be so much easier. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. Accurate. <laughs> They might even be better off if they live without it. But sometimes, the truth seeks you out. Mm. I think the fact that Xion is here is telling us that. She must learn the truth. Maybe so. But it's only a matter of time before Xion's heart and body are... What if that's inevitable? Uh -oh. 
My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. <laughs> okay, now chaos gets to be cryptic. <laughs> if our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. You're the one who taught people that. What I can do is limited. <laughs> so they never 100% explain it in the in the games, at least not clearly. Um, but what they're low-key implying, and is and that implication becomes explicit if you pay attention to specific things. Chaos is literally Jesus. No, seriously. Literally Jesus. That's why he gets called Yeshua by Wilhelm. He is the literal Jesus. They do bring up that there was a that there was a like Messiah who was Chaos's like front facing face sort of thing. But all of like the magic and the miracles was Chaos. Yeah, Chaos is Jesus. <laughs> I still don't even know how I should use this power. Use your Jesus power, Chaos. <laughs> Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. Hi, Kanan. Kanan is now sus. There's suspicious in the data concerning this man called Roth Mantel. Oh, there's a lot. You just haven't found it yet. <laughs> I checked Vector as well to be sure, but there was no information on him at all. That I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well. But why is he placed him at the core of the project now? That in and of itself is suspicious, Kane, and the fact that you can't find any information on this guy. <sighs> Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-Weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. About that. <laughs> yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. But? And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. No, it's not, Kanan. You guys are forgetting one really important thing that was brought up in a previous game. <laughs> you mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. There you go, Kanan. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. BAM! <laughs> she is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Absolutely, she can break through. In fact, we saw sort of a flashback, even though she was using it against Udu, but, you know. That was in the is first, already first, first game, disposal. I think. So it's think. just as unlikely as your first suggestion. No, it's not. Is your situational analysis capability defective? Shut up, Yuli! <laughs> How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? Steal her. With all due respect, <laughs> you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. Mm. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean... We're gonna steal Cosmos. <laughs> yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. Go steal her from the trash heap. <laughs> you certainly don't think small, do you? Also, you guys are discussing this in the middle of the government's weapon area that probably is full of bugs listening into your conversations. Why are you discussing this here? <laughs> I was designed specifically for such objectives. Thanks, Kanan. What did you say? Don't worry about it. I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Don't worry Your about eminence, it. please order its recovery. There is no need. Then please, tell me why. I did not understand our retreat at Ren le Chateau. And now this. Please, tell me your thoughts, Your Eminence. Omega has returned to its rightful master. 
Uh oh. And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. It's rightful, Master. Are you saying that it did not belong to us? Uh oh. That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I. Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no, of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. <gasps> Poor Barry Burton. Poor Barry. You sound <laughs> tired, Margulis. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Heinlein even sounds fishy. Is God's will. There is no need for concern. And reasons why blindly following religion is not a good plan. Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. Okay, because that's how that works. I will, um. All preparations are complete. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. This is gonna end well. <laughs> Why do humans insist on searching? They're obviously talking about Xion. The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. <laughs> I... That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. For precisely that reason, we need a world that is fitting for us. And we are the only ones who can accomplish that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Oh, okay, okay, well, hum. <laughs> Everything follows the destined flow. Okay, well, hum. <laughs> you crazy bastard. <laughs> How am I supposed to explain this to the chief? I don't know, maybe you should have explained it to her before she left the building. Got all the way to her hotel, had an entire conversation with Doc Deuce, and they threw out Cosmos. <laughs> There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal. Not slated, she's already been tossed, according to that conversation we just saw. <gasps> Hi, Yuli. It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh, uh, committee member Mizrahi. Can I do something for you? It's also dangerous to be talking about heisting one of the most important pieces of a project. A former project. In the middle of the military's building. Yuli. <laughs> Could I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Sure. What is it? <laughs> We're gonna plan a heist! <sighs> I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh. That's right. Of course you'd know about that. <laughs> Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm going to tell her about Cosmos. Relax. I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? Dun dun dun! Also, it doesn't make any sense for them to dispose of Cosmos. Hold up. Th this thought just occurred to me. It doesn't make any sense for them to actually dispose of Cosmos. They have poured so much money into that project, even if they've stopped her development and they're putting all of their resources into Telos, they can still use the Cosmos unit for shit, because that Cosmos unit is still extremely powerful. It doesn't make any sense to literally throw her in a trash dump. <laughs> I, watched that footage. I mean, at least take her apart for parts. Astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Soon we will actually get gameplay! <laughs> Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. Dun dun dun! How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, He's probably dirty as hell deep down. Uh-huh. <sighs> hey, is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. 
All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Are you sure about that? Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. Okay. <laughs> but at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. Ice. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. <gasps> uh oh. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal, even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There's nothing. There was no record. Uh-oh! Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm. It depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Which makes up the difference! <gasps> Which makes up the difference. That may be the missing piece. Assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? Theoretically, Junior should know this. Because in the very first Xenosaga game, when you're playing as... Jun yeah, when you're playing as Junior and you're having the fight against the Ormus ship, you board the Ormus ship, you find Telos's development documents on the ship! <laughs> I mean, it's in, technically it's in an optional room, but literally, you can walk into the room, and it says Telos, you look at all the stuff on there, it says Telos, you can see Telos's chest, like, chest thing on this, on a, um, uh, holographic screen. <laughs> Theoretically, Junior should know that. <laughs> but why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. Mm. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. Hi, Yuki. Hey, you guys already started. You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha. <laughs> Yay! Shion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Obviously. <laughs> yes, I have to know the truth. Uh-huh. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. Which was the Milshin conflict. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. Fat Sib. <laughs> That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes. And the person who was appointed to Milsha as the Federation government's inspector was... Uh... Yo, daddy! I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. But he was actually working with UTIC. <sighs> he must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. Sure. Sure. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. Th this sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? She just insulted Shion's dad! <laughs> it, uh... Miyuki! I mean... It's okay, don't worry about it. I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat, like he said, <laughs> he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Miyuki just puts her foot in her mouth. <sighs> <sighs> Poor Miyuki. <laughs> I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Shion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, I was gonna say, and she passes out, because that's what oh, always happens. It's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Passes out! <laughs> Shion! Yep. Shion! Hello. Huh? Passes out. Chief! What's wrong? Shion! Chief? Are you alright? Chief! Obviously not, Alan. You should probably call an ambulance. <laughs> and maybe not leave her in bed alone like Chaos did. Jerk face. <laughs> Hi, Shion. Are you alright, Chief? Obviously not. You scared me. 
You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. Way to go, Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? See, somebody finally calls a doctor when she passes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened <laughs> today, I'm sure that's the reason. Sure. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Ms. Rahi. From Yuli? Yep. Yes. She says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. You passed out. <laughs> oh, but tomorrow we were... You, you probably hit your head on the ground, like concussion? I've passed out before from a standing position like that. I was very lucky I did, um, that I landed on my arm, because if I hadn't, I would have cracked my head open. <laughs> It's okay. Talking with member Ms. Rahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. We don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. <laughs> what? Sure. That's fine with me. Still has not told her about Cosmos. <laughs> Still has not told her about Cosmos. Alan, I love you as a character, but sometimes you are the worst. Okay, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Yes, we still have not had gameplay. Yes, there will be gameplay soon. My name is Miss Scarlet Danager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all.